Hey guys, today we look at the potential art for Goblin Guide. Goblin Guide is rumored to be in Modern Masters 2. Uh, one of the interesting things about Goblin Guide is its price point. It would be a very good fit and it has not seen reprint since original Zendikar. It has been a great card and it has been very played. It has been played the entire time that it was in Modern. So it should be on Wizards of the Coast's radar. It would be kind of a miss if they did not include it, especially given how red as a general color has very has not valuable cards in it. We all remember the Comet Storm at the Mythic. So in general, Goblin Guide, we are probably going to see it. It looks like the artwork. It looks like he's from Zendikar. And the artwork, in my opinion, is... One of the ways that you can protect someone's collection is if you print artwork and it's not good. This is probably how they're protecting people's collection. If they print reprint something, but the artwork of the original is more is better, then the original will keep its price because people prefer playing with that goblin guide, but this will allow casual players or players who don't want to spend as much money in modern to get goblin guide. So I'm pretty sure this is Goblin Guide. We're going to take a look at its current price. It's around $26.50 moderately played. And a lot of these Goblin Guides are not in great condition because it's been so long and there's been no reprint. So Goblin Guide, let's say it's a $25 card. Definitely a card that at rare you would want to see. I cannot see it being bumped as a Mythic, A, because it's not legendary. And B, it's a one-drop goblin. So yeah, it's very good, but the decks that play it are red deck wins, uh, goblins. They tend to be cheaper decks that don't play mythics. So Goblin Guide, I'm hoping, will be Modern Masters 2017. It seems like a perfect fit, although it's $25 today. Should it be reprinted, I could see it going below $10, at least initially, before going up again. And if you don't have a playset of these, getting them once they're reprinted is probably a it's probably good because that will be the low point they will always be played and they're always very good very very good in modern so hopefully this is the new art for goblin guide and we see a reprint uh, it's been a long time coming but at the same time uh, it would be nice to have a card that is worth more than a pack and that's something when you look at expected value, whether or not you want to buy a box. So I actually did cave and I did purchase pre-order a box for 185 with uh, shipping. I don't know why I did it. Um, you know, I've been on the record for saying it's going to drop to 160, 165, which it, it honestly could. But I felt like at 180, 185, there was no reason not to do it. Uh, plus, I got free stuff, which is kind of the main selling point. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you feel like this artwork is Goblin Guide or if it is not. Bye, guys.